Hi everyone. Today I want to share a card with a new stamp set called Royal Peacock. I think it is a lovely uh, stamp set. It's got this beautiful peacock and um, some nice, you can layer it so you can add some other color accents here and it's just got a lot of nice sentiments and it's a really pretty stamp set. It's quite large. As you can see this stamp is really large and it's part of an entire product suite and when you put it all together with the dies and the paper, it's amazing. So the dies are really beautiful. You've got um, an outline for the peacock that cuts out the large peacock. And then you've also got a really beautiful peacock feather uh, die and some other accent pieces that you can use as tail feathers or uh, flourishes of some kind. And then look at this one here. This cuts out a very detailed um, peacock that you would use like this and it's just gorgeous and um, you might see this paper and think what is that that beautiful shiny foil paper and that's part of the collection as well it's noble peacock foil sheets and you get three colors here and they're just really gorgeous and as you can see I've used quite a bit of them that's all that's left and they come in a pack um, and you get six sheets because you get two of each color so they're just beautiful but then there's another foil pack that's even more beautiful if you can believe and these are patterned foil sheets and on this one you get 12 sheets of this foiled paper which is amazing and the price for that is awesome because normally foil sheets come in a two pack for five dollars and those six noble peacock uh, foil sheets that I just showed you there's six in the pack but it's ten dollars so you're kind of getting uh, two extra sheets free and then this one you get 12 sheets which is amazing and it's only 1450 so it's just an awesome paper pack this is a really good bargain here are the patterns look at this one you can even imagine that one maybe as snowflakes for Christmas. I mean, it's peacock feathers, but it kind of has a snowflake feel, doesn't it? And then this one. And this one. And they're kind of blueberry bushel. And they're just, um, I think they call this one old olive, but I'm using it with granny apple green. I think it goes well with both. And um, royal peacock. It's just a beautiful um, foil paper. The papers are amazing. And the suite has um, some gorgeous ribbon. Look at this ribbon. It's two tones. So on one side, it's more of the green, the old olive. And on the other side, it's more of that um, pretty peacock. And it's shimmery. It's gorgeous. And there's also a collection of rhinestones that coordinate well with the um, greens and the blues and peacock colors and it's a gorgeous uh, pack of rhinestones so the whole suite together and um, is gorgeous and shimmery and uh, very regal and rich looking oh there's also an embossing folder which is buried on my desk but it looks like this <laughs> and it's kind of mimics the peacock feather there so it's just gorgeous it's called beads and baubles this one so I think this one would be good for Halloween, uh, Halloween, Christmas as well. So I think that this is a beautiful uh, collection here, and I really hope that you'll check it out. And we're going to make this card together. It's really quite simple. You need the large peacock stamp. Now, they recommend, Stampin' Up! recommends using block F which is a large block, as you can see, because the peacock is so long and it's too wide to go on the narrow one, which can be a little heavy. So if you have a Stamparatus, this is the perfect stamp set to use with your Stamparatus, which is what I'm gonna do. So I've got my peacock here. I've got my paper laid out. Now this is shimmery white. I wanted to just go with that rich, um, beautiful, theme that I've got going here with these beautiful foil papers. Now I'm going to ink this up. That magnet might be in the way. Okay, I got one. I'm going to do two because I'm going to show you two different ways to color this. To add some more. Just and just a little bit extra going on. There we 
go. So it's really easy with that Stamparatus. As you can see, I'm going to clean this later. Okay, so we've got our stamped image. And then what I, I want to show you two different ways that I colored in that stamped image. So you've got this kind of uh, white spot, which you can leave as it is, and it's still a beautiful peacock. But I wanted to add a little bit more color. So I grabbed my marker and I colored in the centers of the peacock feathers here with Granny Apple Green. And again, you can use Old Olive if you have Old Olive. I just wanted brighter, so I went with Granny Apple Green. And I also colored in the tufts of the peacock here with that same marker. Okay, and then I wanted to fill in this area, and there's a couple different ways that I did it. Let me do this real quick. And you can also use Stampin' Blends, which I'm going to do on the body of one of the peacocks. So we have Stampin' Blends in these colors, which is awesome. I love that they added the peacock color to the blends collection. And what I did is I went with the lighter of the peacocks, and it's got um, a brush tip and a blunt end, and I'm gonna use the brush tip. And I just kind of lightly went to the body of the peacock with the light pretty peacock color just filled in the body and then on this area I just kind of speckled it leaving some white areas and I'll show you why in just a moment so I've got some white areas in the body the, tail, the main part of the tail and that's because I went back in with the granny apple green and here I used the dark and I added some granny apple green just so there was some just different colors both tones to show through there and you can even go back in and go on top of the pretty peacock and add a little bit of that granny apple green speckling to the body and so that's one way that you can color your peacock and then another way it's my favorite way I wanted to show both because I tend to go to watercolor a lot and I know not everybody loves watercolor. So here's the blends way. And then if you want to go with watercolor, what I did was I just grabbed my aqua painter and picked up some ink from the lid. And I lightly went and did the body of the peacock with a light wash. And I kind of went down the back. And then I grabbed my Granny Apple Green and I just added just a little bit of green to the underbelly here and a little bit in the tail. Maybe some in here. And you can darken this up. So that's another way to color in the peacock and you can kind of decide which way works for you. I'm a watercolor person so I love to watercolor. Now another thing I did because I had it out is I grabbed my watercolor and I just went in. I didn't even add any color. I'm kind of smearing the ink that's on the cardstock and I just kind of randomly went through on top of that pretty peacock ink and just kind of blended it out a little bit and it kind of fills it in, makes the feathers even fuller. I, I'm not even adding ink as you can see. So there is another way to color in that peacock. Okay, and now we're gonna take the die and cut it out. So you're just going to bring it over to your die cut machine and line that up. And I'm gonna do that and then come right back. Okay, there are my peacocks. Now the rest of the card is super simple. 
I cut out two ovals with the stitched shapes framelit dies. And those are going to be for our greeting. I'm going to do the You Are Incredible. You can also add a little happy birthday or something there too. This is nice for graduation or someone who's moving on to a new job or has just accomplished something or was awarded something. So I've got the You Are Incredible and I want to do it kind of um, as far to the right in about center like so. And we're going to layer that on our card. So our card base is Blueberry Bushel. And I've got this Granny Apple Green, which I've embossed in that new folder. And I've got a piece of that pretty foil. And I'm going to put these two together so that they measure um, five and a quarter. So I'm going to add some adhesive to my cardstock here. And I'm going to put them together till they equal five and a quarter, find my Now I cut them a little long so that they would overlap like this. I wanted to have an easy time putting my ribbon around. So I cut this blue piece at three inches and I cut this one at maybe two and a half so that I'd have a little lip which can be used to overlap the two pieces. And the reason why I'm doing this and not directly to my paper, my base, is because I want to do kind of a faux bow with my ribbon. Um, a lot of times I just go ahead and put the ribbon all the way around and I don't worry about it. But I'm running low on this ribbon because I used this card at stamp camp. <laughs> and so I don't have a lot and it's gorgeous and I kind of want to hold on to some of it as best I can. So I am going to just do a faux bow. I guess it's a real bow, but I'm not going all the way around is what I'm trying to say. So I'm going to put this down and when I'm doing something like this, I want that ribbon to stay. So I'm going to use some tear tape or some glue dots. I have tear tape in front of me, so that's what I'm going with. I don't want that to accidentally come out. So I'm going to flip it over and make sure I'm on that seam. press that down. So I've got it nicely covering that seam. Same thing here. I'm going to go ahead and you can decide which side's up for you. I think I want the more shiny side. Press that down. Okay, so now I've got my ribbon wrapped around hiding that seam. I didn't do a good job here. Let me straighten that out. Okay, and now we need to stick it down to our cardstock. And then we're going to go ahead and lay down our ovals. I want them to be not completely centered, but just enough, so slightly to the left, but you have to kind of make sure that you're putting them down with enough room to clear the peacock feathers here. So kind of glance at where you're putting it down. Okay, our ovals are down. And now we're going to go ahead and put the peacocks down. And I wanted to put them up a little bit on some dimensionals. Just to make them even more regal. So I'm adding some larger dimensionals to the bottom where it's really nice and thick. And then I'm going to put some mini dimensionals at the top of the head. And now there's just a few more things to finish it off. It's all in the little details. Got a little bit of adhesive on the outside here. Okay. 
we're going to make some little bows here. Now I tie it with bunny ears, that's how I do it. Everybody does bows differently and I wish I was an expert bow tire, but I am not. This is how I do it. And then as I'm pulling it through, I kind of make sure that I've got the same side that I want up. And I tighten and tighten. Oops. I need to take a bow class. And I try, people, have, you know, I watch videos on how to best tie a bow and I just, this is how I do it. <laughs> There is my bow. Tie it nice and tight. I find that doing it this way I don't waste a lot of ribbon too. Like I feel like I can get up and close before I trim and therefore I don't have a lot of waste. I mean I wasted a little bit but I think some ways waste more so I kind of like my way. So I've got two little bows, and I'm going to use glue dots to attach those. Right next to that oval. Alright, and now another little accent that I wanted to add were some of those little peacock feather pieces, and I've cut them out of the green foil. And all I'm going to do there is kind of tuck them in under this ribbon here just to kind of give another little accent coming down. I should have done it before I put the uh, ribbon down. There we go. Just another little green coming down towards the bottom. And then one more thing are these really beautiful rhinestones. And I'm going to add the blue, the bright green, and the peacock. a little bit. I think I want this up here so I'm going to lower this one. Okay and if you want to add a little bit something to the inside what I did there is I used these kind of little florally pieces. And I grabbed blueberry bushel. You could use any of the colors really. Oops. It happens when I go fast towards the end of the video. I make boo boos. I would have sta uh, put the adhesive on the back, but my blueberry bushel is really juicy, so I didn't want to flip that over just yet. Okay, that's my inside. And there you have it. There's my royal peacock card. I hope that you like it. I hope you'll check out the whole suite. The foil paper is amazing and um, these rhinestones are gorgeous. The ribbon is gorgeous. I think you're really going to love a lot here and that foil paper I think you can use it for so many different things as well as this. I think it kind of almost has a Christmas ornament look to it. So I think that this is a um, beautiful collection of products that you can use for a lot of things. So thanks so much for watching. If you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator that you purchase from, I'd love to be your demonstrator. I send out hand stamp thank you cards every time you make a purchase and I have frequent buyer rewards. So you save up some points and you can pick out free stamps. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you'll come back again. Bye-bye.